I have an official and very serious announcement for you. Official statistics are classic examples of public goods on compilation of which our taxes are spent. However, they are not perceived and discussed as critically as all the other public goods. For example, how many people have you seen debating for weeks whether it was justified to spend that much money on the new Christmas tree at the Republic Square, whether they like it or not? And please note that this is just one time spending. And now, how many you know who think why we need statistics? Is the quality sufficient? And most importantly, what we all can do to make it better so that it reveals the real needs and contributes to solving the socioeconomic problems that our country faces. I have been working as a consultant on tourism statistics with the Statistical Committee of the Republic of Armenia for the past year. And hence, as tourism has become a very trendy industry, some of fr my friends like asked me, Lucine, you are an economist and working in the field, so please advise me where to put my money on tourism sector to establish a profitable business. And then, in order to give a reasonable recommendation, I need to have some data to refer to. Like something like this might have been a professional answer. You know, I have seen there is no middle class hotel in a certain village or city, but in a village with similar nature, culture, heritage, and etc., there are two such establishments which reported high occupancy rates and a significant increase in revenue, so I think such an investment is worth doing. Unfortunately, currently in Armenia there is no such data. And working in the field, I have realized that one of the reasons of this is the reluctance of respondents to provide accurate data while filling in the statistical forms. I know you are thinking about the data privacy, but I can assure you that sharing your data with the statistical committee in no way means opening the information for all the other public or any other private institution, because the statistical committee publishes solely aggregate information without violating any privacy issues. In addition, like filling in all these forms is additional cost for the business and can be considered as a waste of time. However, we all should admit that the development progress without statistics is blind. And we, each one of us, are the ultimate beneficiaries of having accurate data on the state level. Furthermore, I should announce this. Having accurate data is the only way to keep the government transparent and accountable. Because how are we going to assess whether the new government reached its targets of reducing unemployment or poverty rates or combat corruption if we do not have accurate baseline estimations? We are all producers of official statistics, either via participating in a survey, making bank transactions, just leaving digital footprint. So I encourage all the people to be conscious while providing statistical information, having in mind that by this, we are forming our future business and economic decisions. On the other hand, like being in the field of data science and having a firm belief in the future transformation of public sector through automation and big data, I should confess that both the citizens and the business community are sick and tired of these surveys. In addition, scarcity of time, rising consciousness on data privacy, and the increasing variety of services provided in the sharing economy put under the question data gathered through these traditional sources. Like, for example, in the field of tourism, which is a quite complex field because it has its impact in almost every other industry, internationally recognized and most common way of collecting data is by conducting surveys in border crossing points. And in order to be representative, such a survey should be conducted throughout the whole year in all the border crossing points, in different times of the day, and etc. So you can assume how much costly it is. And let's imagine you are standing in the queue at the midnight as the best case scenario at the airport, but possibly in Armenian Georgia border Bagratashen, and someone approaches you with a three page questionnaire asking questions about your tourism trip. How much money you spend on accommodation services, food, museums, shopping, and etc. I don't think many of you would be able and also willing to provide precise estimates for this. 
And this is why progressive statistical authorities and governments are trying to make use of alternative data sources to complement and in some cases substitute data from traditional sources. This later example was a common sense, but let me bring my raised argument more illustrative speaking with data. Like when I looked into the official statistics, I saw that in Davos region, there are only 63 accommodation providers, services providers registered. But just typing Dilijan in Booking.com, which is a single city in this Mars, reveals very detailed information about 123 such properties. Two times more. So my question is, do the policymakers want to rely on such data only? Or are we going to think of innovative methods of data collection and analysis? Like a recently published article in Financial Times states that we will sell ourselves short if we stick to traditional data collection methods and ignore innovative providers such as smartphones, drones, satellites, supercomputers. Yeah, I really appreciate this world to sell ourselves short because if our government does not make the decision of using these sources, first, its, action, its actions will be somehow blind, and secondly, these data giants will and have actually started selling our own data to our government. Another article produced by Eurostat states that the arrival of big data has also changed the working environment of statisticians. They no longer hold the monopoly on producing official statistics, but now compete with a wide range of data providers. So ignoring innovation will push the statistical authorities out of the information market. And this is why nearly all European countries, and for example also our neighbor Georgia, has tried utilization of mobile positioning data for compilation of population, migration and tourism statistics. Automated collection of this mobile positioning data for me is a much more reliable source to understand the behavior of tourists, like how many people visit specific attractions, attend festivals, or etc. Another example could be the open source data. And web crawling scrapping techniques are used to harvest this information. And the most appealing feature is that it can also provide information about the shadow economy. Because, like, imagine a and b or a hostel, yes, there are some that are not officially registered and hence cannot be captured by official statistics. But in order to reach the tourists, they need to provide very detailed information about themselves in the internet. So the data is out there and just needs to be processed and turned into information. The cases and examples are numerous, but I need to sum up. So from the one hand, I encourage all the people to be conscious while providing statistical information because the socio-economic development of our country is largely dependent on having accurate data. On the other hand, I hope the government will make a step forward for some public-private collaborations or the utilization of new and innovative data sources. Like it was nearly a year ago when I made the decision on working with the statistical committee because I'm passionate about evidence-based policy making and just wanted to contribute to my country. But from the professional growth perspective, it was not that attractive and now I'm working with a US-based private company helping them to turn data into money. More talented data scientists work in the betting industry, for example, and I don't think this is the right direction we want to develop our country. I want data science to save lives and make the people in my country be happier, healthier and wealthier. So I really hope that in the nearest future, the Statistical Committee of the Republic of Armenia will become a cutting edge technology institution where leading data scientists and methodologists with innovative mindset would dream to work.